there, but police vehicles in the area as well. At one point, that suspect got out of the car onto the roof and was holding what appeared to be a gun. Fox 2's Elliot Davis has been on the scene talking with officials this afternoon. So, Elliot, what do we know at this point? Well, John, certainly a dramatic day out here in St. Charles County. I'm in West Alton right now. Uh, the scene, people still on the scene uh, right over there. This started uh, around 440. They apparently started with a burglary. Shots were exchanged between the homeowner uh, and the suspect. Neither one was hit uh, in that exchange, but the uh, suspect uh, then fled. Uh, apparently, as the suspect was going down Highway 94, uh, he apparently threatened a motorist uh, with uh, the uh, gun uh, that motors, however, managed to uh, speed off. The chase continued uh, as it went on. Police were in communications uh, with that suspect for a time. We did talk to the St. Charles County Police Chief about this case. That pursuit, he was on the phone with some of our officers, uh, making threatening statements to the officers, indicate there was a female occupant in the vehicle as well. He said uh, lives will be lost if you don't back off. And uh, our officers uh, gave him a little bit of space, attempted to negotiate with them while the pursuit was going on. He ended up in the, uh, the farmer's field here, got bogged down. He, uh, he jumped out of the vehicle, ran to the front of the vehicle, shot at our officers. Our officers returned fire and uh, were successful in stopping him. So from what we know right now, none of the officers were injured, but the suspect, we are told, does have life-threatening injuries. Live in West Alton, I'm Elliot Davis, Fox 2 News.